All right, Chebyshev's theorem, if I hopefully I pronounced that right, is uh, the proportion of values from a data set that will fall within k standard deviations of the mean will be at least 1 minus 1 over k squared, where k is a real number greater than 1, and, standard, and stands for, k stands for the number of standard deviations above and below the mean. Um, this uh, uh, theorem does apply to any distribution, regardless of its shape. Now, if you have a normal distribution, you're going to use the empirical rule, which I'll maybe talk about at the end of this video. Okay, so here's an example of this. The mean price of a house in our neighborhood is around $60,000, and the standard deviation is uh, um, $10,000. Find the price range for which at least 75% of the houses will sell. And you could, and we'll do maybe two of them just to kind of figure this out. So we'll do 75% and 90%. So using Chebyshev's theorem, 1 over 1, 1 minus 1 over k squared is equal to, uh, let's do the 75% one first, which 75 converts to a decimal is 0.75. And so now you're breaking out your uh, rational equation um, solving abilities. Maybe that maybe you don't have any, I don't know. And uh, so, so yeah, again, we're going to be uh, doing a little rational equations here. And so when you have a rational equation like this where a variable's on the bottom, which is kind of nasty looking, um, first off, uh, I've got minus 1 over k squared. And then I'm going to subtract the 1 over here with the uh, 0.75. You got negative 1 over k squared then would equal to negative 0.25, 0 0.25. And uh, what's kind of nice about this, once you do that, um, then you can change your signs by dividing by a negative 1. And so 1 over k squared equals uh, 0.25, which if you wanted to go ahead and do that, uh, 1 over k squared equals 1 quarter. If you want to convert that to a fraction, you wouldn't have to. And then cross multiply. So k squared equals 4, so k would, could be plus or minus 2. So 75% um, of our data, so with that, 75% of our data will be um, within two standard deviations of the mean. So what does it mean in our particular problem. So in our particular problem, we know our mean was $60,000. And we knew our standard deviation for our sample was $10,000. So let me just double check that. Yep, that was right. And so what that means is 75% of the houses <laughs> houses will sell between between um, sixty thousand sixty thousand uh, minus two times ten thousand and sixty thousand plus 2 times your standard deviation. Okay. So, you know, if you simplify this, 75% of houses will sell between 60 minus 20,000 is 40,000 and 60 plus 20,000 is 80,000. And that's kind of the one that comes out even. But uh, what if you wanted to know more? You know, let's say I want to be 90%. Uh, well, I want to know what 90% what of the houses are going to sell for in this particular community. So that requires um, another uh, application to that formula. So 1 over 1. Chebyshev's formula. 1 over 1 minus 1 over k squared would equal 
0.9 for 90 percent. Again, subtract 1. And so negative 1 over k squared equals negative 0.1. And divide by negative 1 to get rid of that, or multiply by negative 1, either one. So 1 over k squared equals positive 0.1. And this time, I mean, you could use 1 over 10 and cross multiply. But let's just use the decimal just so we got it. So point, if this would be over 1. And so you, if you cross multiply, you'd have 0.1k squared equals 1. Go in this direction. And so k squared, because we've got to divide by 0.1 on both sides of the equation, k squared is equal to 10. So this is what's kind of nice. I mean, this is going to be an ugly number. Because to solve for this, it doesn't come out even. K is equal to plus or minus the root of 10. Well, plus or minus the root of 10 is approximately um, 3.16. So we'll go approximately plus or minus 3.16. So that's how many standard deviations above and below the mean we'd be for 90% of the data. So in our problem, again, x bar is equal to 60,000. And uh, our standard deviation, S, was 10,000. We'll leave that the same. And when you check this, so 90% of the data of the houses, not data, of the houses in this neighborhood will sell between between sixty thousand dollars minus three point one six times your standard deviation and sixty thousand dollars plus three point one six times your standard deviation. Okay, and uh, you know I gave, uh, I'm kind of doing some rounding ahead of time because you're probably just looking for an approximate anyway. So um, 60,000, so you'd have, if you simplified this, so 90% um, of houses in this neighborhood will sell between, and here's the difference between mathematics and statistics, in my opinion, is you need these sentences. You need this explanation of what the numbers mean. Because here we are actually applying it to real life things and real life situations. So what is a situation? What's happening? So 90% of houses in this neighborhood will sell between um, 60,000 uh, minus um, thirty thousand one hundred and sixty dollars, so sixty thousand minus thirty thousand one hundred and sixty dollars would be twenty nine thousand eight hundred and forty dollars, and sixty thousand plus thirty one thousand. Ooh, I think I have that wrong. But I'll double check it. Thirty-one thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah, I thought that was wrong. And ninety-one thousand six hundred. So I'm going to go back to this one because I think it's wrong. If you take uh, three point one six times ten thousand, that would be thirty-one thousand six hundred. So sixty thousand minus um, thirty-one thousand six hundred. And yeah, I was way off. So twenty-eight. So you're going to make mistakes. Just double check. You know, always be looking at your numbers and make sure they make sense. Okay, and then so that's if if you for any distribution of data. Now you may or may not know what um, what data is for um, for normal distribution, but there's another rule if you have that normal distribution. So. Let's say you had a set of graphs and the data had this nice peak and then a nice, almost looks like a, a perfect 
shape of a ghost, you would use the empirical rule. I'll just um, EMP for empirical rule. And what the empirical rule says is that essentially 68, around 68% 68 of the data will fall plus or minus one standard deviation. from the mean. Okay, and if you wanted to go even two standard deviations, 95% of the data will fall plus or minus two SD from the mean. I'll put from X bar. And if you wanted to get 99% of the data, you only have to go three standard deviations for normal de distribution. So we'll fall plus or minus three S for standard deviations from X bar. And so that's the empirical rule. And, uh, and that, I'll let you kind of figure out problems with that on your own. So best of luck. Hope this helps and see you next time.